Let's get ready to rumble! Yes, the gang are back for another One Way and Ignite Super Sunday special. Yes, Sunday morning, guys. Lots of reasons to be excited. We're going to worship together. We're going to watch a video together. We're going to have fun together. Yes, there will be another move. You better believe it. I'm here with Lenny and Derek and Jerry, and we're really excited to be with you this morning to be able to hang out on a Sunday morning when we can't gather in person. Last week was a great week. We celebrated Pentecost, the time in, where, in time where the church celebrates its birthday effectively. It's a great time where God poured out his Holy Spirit on the people, on the disciples. And they were able to share their faith with people from all different walks of life, different languages, and loads of people came to faith in Jesus. And that Holy Spirit can come and live in us too, which is great news. This week, we're going to be picking up our series in Exodus with the main man, Moses. What a guy. And we're going to be learning a little bit about the Ten Commandments, which you may well have heard of already. But it's going to be a good time together. Yes, friends, it is time for another dance move. Oh yes, we're going to take it back a few years and we're going to shake, rattle and roll. Get out of that bed, wash your face and hands. So we decided to have a board game. I'm not sure I'd play it again, but Lenny is a bit of a character. So let's see how we got on trying to play a game. Okay guys, here I am with Lenny. We decided with Derek to play a little game called Bananagrams. Now, Lenny's a bit of a cheater sometimes. He doesn't always play by the rules, but this time, hopefully, because he's hanging out with you guys, he will play properly. So the aim of the game is to spell out some words. You're not allowed to use names. You're not allowed to use words that don't actually exist. And hopefully you can make as many words as possible by getting rid of all your tiles with all the letters on. So here it goes. Let's see how me and Lenny and Derek get on in competition. So Lenny, how do you think you've been getting on? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Well, let's have a look at the board. We're nearly the end of the game. We've one go left each, and let's see how we got on. So Lenny, you remember the rules? No names. Yeah, no names. And uh, yeah, let's see how we're getting on. Oh, Le um, Lenny, you have used my name, and you've used uh, your name, and you've used Derek's name. <sighs> He's always... You're, Lenny, you're always breaking the rules. Okay, let's go. You're, you've got 
10 more seconds left on your go, Lenny. What, what word are you thinking of using? Go. Lenny, that, that's, not actually, that's not actually a word. It's just, it's just G-O. You, know, you, you can't, you can't make it, you can't make it longer, guys. It's just gotta be, they gotta be real words. Ah, oh, he's always breaking the rules. And actually, Lenny, you're over your time limit as well. And no, you can't, you can't have extended time. He's always breaking the rules. Oh, uh, guys, well, actually, I'm pretty stuck on my go, so I guess I can't go, so I guess neither of us, neither of us win. Ha! <laughs> what an average game. I think that's the last time I'm going to be playing this with you guys. That was a, that was a tough day. See, Lenny, always breaking the rules. We're going to be thinking a little bit more about the rules that God gave his people for them to flourish, for them to do well in life, for them to live together the best way they can. And we're gonna watch a video, a little bit about what these commandments look like. But before we do that, we're gonna worship God together. So let's do that with Ben and Jesse. Your love is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain, full beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how you gently lift me When I am surrounded, your love carries me shines through and I feel this God son it's rising up in me Now where did we get up to? Ah yes, I remember. The plagues in the Passover had convinced the evil Egyptian pharaoh that letting Moses lead the Israelites into freedom would probably be a good idea. And so Moses led the Israelites into freedom, out of Egypt and into the desert, in search of the promised land that God had told the Israelites and their ancestors all about. Now, Pharaoh, being the big meanie that he is, decided to change his mind after all of this and chase after the Israelites with his whole army to kill them. But it didn't really work out for them. So then God led Moses and the Israelites from the Red Sea to a place called Mount Sinai, which is where God first spoke to Moses through the burning bush. Remember that? So God asked Moses and his brother Aaron to climb to the top of the mountain where he would meet them because he had something he wanted to chat to them about. Hey Moses, Aaron, I've got 10 commandments for you to pass on to the Israelites and I've written them down on some stone for you so you won't forget them. Oh, w -w 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 wow! They're laws for you to all follow so that you keep yourself safe, aren't mean to one another and aren't mean to me because I'm God, the God who loves you and brought you out of slavery into freedom. Oh, th 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 thank you, Lord. Okay, so here we go. Commandment number one. There are no other gods. They don't exist, so don't worship them. That would be a silly thing to do. Commandment number two. Don't go and make up other gods to worship them. That's even sillier than what commandment one is on about. I'm God, and I've done so much for you guys because I love you. So it would be a bit rude of you to make up other gods and worship them instead, wouldn't it? Commandment number three. 
Don't use my name for swearing or banter. If you stub your toe, there are plenty of other words you can use. Commandment number four. Guys, take a break. Work hard and honestly for six days a week and then on the Sabbath day have a rest. Chill out, hang out with friends and family and me. Trust me, I had a rest after I built the whole universe. So take my advice on this one. The week will feel much better if you have a nice rest on the weekend. Commandment number five. This is an important one. Be nice to your mum and dad. It will help you go a long way in life. Commandments 6, 7 and 8 should hopefully be kind of obvious. Don't kill people, don't steal other people's wives or husbands, and in fact, don't steal anything at all. Commandment number 9. Don't lie, it's just a bit mean. And finally, Commandment 10. Don't long after things that you see your friend has. Don't fancy his wife or her husband. Don't be jealous about their ox. And don't spend all of your time thinking about how you'd like to ride their donkey. Okay? So Moses and Aaron told the Israelites all about these commandments and what God wanted them to do. And it was an amazing reminder to the Israelites of the promises God had made to them and of just how much he loved them. God give us rules to live life and live life to the full, not to hoop the party, but for us to enjoy life in all its fullness. God had big plans for us. He wanted us to live in harmony with each other and with him. It's been great to hang out with you. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.